Oh, hello. Today we're going to talk about Newton's law of cooling. Ever wonder how they figure out when the bodies died on all those fancy TV shows, Bones, CSI, Law and Order? They'll come across the dead body, put the thermometer in, and say, Well, I think they died at 2 in the morning. Well, what they're using is Newton's Law of Cooling. Newton's Law of Cooling simply says that the rate of change in temperature of something, say a dead body, is proportional to the difference between the initial temperature of the dead body and the temperature of the medium, or the surrounding. Now, I call that T prime for the rate of change. When you study calculus, you'll learn how to solve this equation. And eventually, you will get this version. And this is what we use in our class. The temperature at any time T is the temperature of the medium, the surrounding area, plus this difference between the initial temperature and the medium times e to the negative kt. Yes, that's right. We have an exponential decay problem. And we can solve this based on the temperature of the body, the temperature of the medium, and then we'll be given one value to find k. Once we do that, we can find the temperature at any time t, and also any time t for any given temperature. Which is, of course, how we can answer the question as to when the body died. Let's do an example. Let's say you come across a body. The initial temperature of the body is 80 degrees. The temperature of the medium the motel room, say for example, is 60 degrees. So, let's review. You've checked into the motel. You know the room has been at a constant temperature of 60 degrees. You find a dead body at midnight. We'll say that midnight is the initial temperature, little t sub zero. And that body's temperature is 80 degrees. How do we figure out when it died? Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to wait two hours. And we're going to take the temperature of the body, T sub 2. And we're going to find that to be 75 degrees. Now, this is enough information for us to determine when the body died. Let's try. <laughs> Let's see. I know that my general equation is the temperature of the medium plus the difference in the body temperature and the temperature of the medium times e to the negative kt. What do we know? We know that at 2, we had a temperature of the medium. The temperature of 2 was 75. Our medium was a constant 60. The difference between the initial temperature, which you remember was 80, and the medium was 20 e to the negative kt. We're going to use this equation, solve for little k, and then figure out when the nasty occurred. Let's see. I'll subtract 60 from both sides, and then I'll divide by 20. And that gives me e to the negative kt. As any good Algebra 2 student will tell you, you now take the natural log of both sides. So we take the natural log of 15 twentieths. And we also knew that this was 2. So this t here, we now can change to 2. 
equals negative 2k. Divide natural log 15 twentieths by negative 2, and we have our value for k. Now, this sounds like a complicated number, but don't worry about it, because all we can do is plug that value into our calculator. We'll store that as a variable value, and then we don't even have to worry about the approximation. Let's finish the problem. Now that we have our value for k, we simply rewrite the equation. Our value for k was natural log 15 twentieths over negative 2. Now, let's see if we can figure out when the body died. Hmm, what was the temperature when the body died? That's right, 98.6. That goes in for our big T. What's the temperature of the median? Hasn't changed, 60 degrees. What's the difference between the medium and the original temperature of the body? Hasn't changed, still 20 degrees. E to the negative K, that's the value we'll use for K, and then little t. And we're gonna solve for little t. Here we go. 38.6 divided by 20, E to the negative K T. Any good algebra two student will tell you that this is the natural log 38.6 over 20 equals negative kt. Now remember, k is a number. We know k. So we're going to take our calculator again, plug this in, divide by k, and I'm going to get t is approximately negative 4.57. You can confirm that on your own. What does that tell us? Well, if we remember, our original T was midnight. So if I go back 4.57 hours, that's right. We can estimate the time of death in about 7.26 p.m. And that is how we use Newton's Law of Cooling to find out when the body dies.